So this is going to be tortilla chips ran on an S6 machine. Um, this S6 is equipped with a large way hopper. Um, it's not very necessary for the weight that we're doing in this test. We're doing a 1.5 ounce test. On the scale here, we'll see it represented as 0 0.094 of a pound. Um, but the reason that I have this equipped here is because I want to make sure that it can handle that small of a weighment, number one, with these chips. Uh, but number two, we want to know, we want basically to exemplify the possibility of moving up in bag size. Say a full size bag of chips, 16 ounces for instance, this way hopper would be able to take that uh, volume just fine and uh, be able to process it. Um, so this is a dual stage machine. We have an upper and a lower feed pan. The upper feed pan is controlled by this control box and the brush system here. Uh, this is set at 5.5 to get our flow there. Um, the only other thing that we have really going on here is down here, we have a five inch discharge chute. Again, for the size bag that we're using, it's a little bit of overkill, uh, but uh, in the thought of possibly moving production upward into those larger bags, uh, this would allow for that as well. Um, not to say that there is an issue with the small bags at all though. They flow just fine. The chips actually enter the bag very well. Um, and that's actually nice too because the bag does have some room for an overage. And that's very nice to have. Being that there's not really a tolerance for this particular run we're doing. I'm trying to keep it as close as I can to the target. Um, and the biggest overage I've seen during my testing up to this point is a hundredth over, um, one hundredth over, which isn't really all that bad um, when we're talking about a sample size thing. Uh, without further ado, I do have the automatic dump feature employed on this. Um, we did have a little bit of a heavier run there. what it looks like into the bag. 